Hey, it's Anwen with Emerald Co. Decoded. Did you know that we produce up to 1.5 liters of saliva a day? And surprisingly, almost none of that while sleeping. There are birds that make nests out of their saliva, snakes transmit venom through it, and camels spit saliva in self-defense. All amazing facts, but none as amazing as what Lucas Penny discovers he could do with the RNA in our saliva. 10 students from across Canada achieving greatness in science, technology, engineering, and math. This is Emerald Code Decoded. Hi, my name is Lucas Penny. I'm 18 years old from Grimsby, Ontario, and I invented a system to diagnose early breast cancer using saliva. So I was first interested in uh, science and research when I was 12 years old. A close family friend actually had breast cancer, and I was interested in what was happening to her DNA and the genetics behind why she got breast cancer, I and mean, what could be done to diagnose it early on. So the reason why I chose saliva for my project was because uh, when my close family friend was getting tests when she had breast cancer, she had to get a lot of blood testing done. It, it hurt, it was painful. So the main idea, this was two years ago when I had the idea, was something that would be less invasive or less painful for a, a user. My main issue for my project at the beginning was finding a biomarker to diagnose breast cancer early on. And what I used was something called microRNAs. So these microRNAs exist um, in the saliva, and that's what I used uh, to diagnose breast cancer early on. Yeah, so I was working at the university one time, and I had been talking to a lady who came in, uh, was asking me what my research was, what I was doing, and I talked a little bit about my project, and she actually asked me uh, what year of my PhD I was actually in. And uh, yeah, I said I was, in, I was in high school, which was kind of, kind of a funny moment, because I was so young, but it shows that my research kind of had an impact as well, too. Do you have any advice for others? The first thing that comes to mind is really to just find your passion and really move forward with what you think is gonna be changing the world. And that's really what's been moving my research along. And I know that it, uh, all my friends who are also in science, that's what uh, encourages them to really continue doing scientific research every day. Lucas was inspired to help a family friend. What inspires you? If you need some inspiration, visit emeraldcode.ca to find out more.